GoPro. Now? Yeah. GoPro. Okay, you guys are actually Facebook Live at this point on two different groups. Oh. Central Santa Realtors and the Out of the Box. Okay. So be careful what you say because I can't guarantee I won't say anything wrong. So we're going to get started with Michelle from Green, um, Green Promoting. Green Promoting, thank you. It was quite obvious when I see your card. I should just automatically assume that. Green, Michelle from Green Promoting real quick. So give two or three minutes. Then, then the girl from... Uh, I'm sorry. Gosh, I'm... I drank too much wine already. <laughs> this, is, this is a wine with medicine. So. <laughs> Michelle first. Michelle's first. We'll go from there. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Michelle with Green Promoting. I was also one of your sponsors at the Broker Life event. Uh, we do promotional products, premiums, and incentives. Uh, the company Green Promoting was founded in 2008. Before that, I was also selling. Um, and before that, I was also on the manufacturing side. So many years' experience knowing the product and development and the type of decorating. So you're probably familiar with a lot of products that could have your name or brand on it. We can brand That's your particular sure. name and customize it so that it has the Prime logo on it as well as your name and logo. Um, so phone number, website. So what we want to do is be able to collaborate with you to make sure that you can take your marketing budget, whatever it may be, and be able to put it into some products that are going to be useful to you so that you can have a better experience with the people that you're marketing to. Um, if you're at... Um, if you've got runs or races, try to sponsor that and be able to put something into the bag. If you have um, affiliations with networking groups or other groups that you're talking to, if you want to do some mailing pieces. Um, so there's a lot of different places where you have coincidental relationships or affinity relationships that you'll be able to put your name and brand on. Um, you can also do things like um, embroidered hats for the holiday season. Uh, we can put together mailings for you, finding things that are going to be lightweight and expensive to mail. Um, if you need closing gifts, that's also a great way to do gifting pieces. Um, in the apparel category, if people are going to be wearing your jackets or your sweatshirts, that's also going to be a walking billboard in order for you to get the exposure to it. Whether you want to put the name, and we can also put your particular website or your name on it, a lot of brokers will do that to make sure that that recognition comes directly back to you and your brand. Um, so in terms of the resources that we do have, there's catalogs, there's lots and lots of resources that you can handle, but if you just give us a call or look on our website, we're also going to be putting together a branded website for Prime to narrow down the types of products that you need to see. If you were to go to our website, you know, you could have at it, but it's kind of confusing in a way that there's a lot of products. You don't need 5,000 resources for, you know, a 50 cent pen. So what we're going to do is we're going to narrow it down, but what you should also do is be able to just contact me and say, I am going to spend $350 and I need to do a mailing, or I need to do two shirts, or I need to have a few different pieces. Um, we're also doing some group buys. So Matthew Thompson, thank you also, um, I should recognize, he invited me to come and speak here, so I appreciate that. Matthew is putting together a group buy um, of some sweatshirts and hoodies. That is something that is going to be a really good resource. So if you talk to your friends, talk to the people amongst yourselves, and try to get a group buy with um, the brand on it. Buying 24 pieces is going to be a lot more economical than buying two or one piece. We can do that when it comes to embroidery, but when you're able to put a group buy together, get some excitement, decide on a couple of pieces, and then put that logo together, and it's gonna be a lot more affordable. So there's blankets, there's things that are in the $24 price range, there's things in the $2.40 price range. If you're looking for a giveaway, if you're looking for something in a certain um, demographic, if you've got you know, a, uh, a church event or if you have a school event, we can find the right products for you. Um, if you want to look for that and come back to me with what's going to be suitable for what you do and your economics and what your, um, you know, your, your particular um, motivations are, because it's going to be very personal on what you're selecting and we do realize that. So call me and I can put a presentation together or you can find something on our website. Um, I'm going to pass around my business card. I'm going to leave some here and some here, if you can pass those around. Um, and then we'll, uh, with Andrew and the office, they'll be staying in touch with you to be able to uh, reach us. So feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Are there any at this time? Nope. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, yes. Turnaround time is about seven to 10 working days, barring any inventory issues, but ordinarily it's gonna be seven to 10 working days. So the order processes will determine the product, determine the price, determine what we're going to imprint on it, and then we're going to show you a proof before we imprint anything. So if we're talking about some notepads, we're going to show you an imprint example before anything is decorated. If it's going to be embroidery, we're going to show you a swatch of the embroidery before it's done. 
Is the green, uh, is that like an environmental thing? Uh, we can find environmental products if you're looking for that, but green is more of a renewable uh, life and um, growth. That's going to be the, the name or the, um, the motivation behind the name. Yeah. So if you are looking for sustainable items, I can easily find things that are renewable or, or um, environmentally friendly, um, made from you know, durable goods and um, renewable resources. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. To break it up real quick, we're going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to do two apps real quick, then I'll introduce Bill to post to come up. Just give me a second. Ready? Just to break it up a little bit. My first app is one I just recently discovered in the last two weeks. is Folio by Amitri. If you're a Gmail user, which I'm a heavy, I use Gmail user. I'm a heavy Gmail user. Um, NAR did a study a couple years ago. Outside of using your own name like DaveWoodson.com or Prime, PrimeRealEstate.com, using a Gmail was looked at as, as one of the more professional .coms to use for an email. So if you're using Gmail, don't don't think twice by using it. Uh, but Folio Biometry actually will set up a uh, separate folders for every transaction you're doing right now. And when, when the, the latest upgrade, what they just did, just the latest upgrade, was they'll go on and they'll so if you set the email addresses from your like mine, I have two from Dan and Sonia. And I'm working with Paul Boyder from Macaulay. So they went out and, entered, and pulled those three into a, um, into a separate web page, and it shows them what's going on for every stage of the transaction at this point. So when I had to go get an extension, it went, it went, into, the, went into the tree. So this is a great way to, uh, to keep track of your transactions a little bit. How the milestones updated? By, by the, it reads your email, by, I'm assuming. So... Like if you're inviting like a loan officer, you invite a loan officer, title company, the other other realtor, your your everybody who's involved in the transaction. So it, the, go ahead. The secondary input for the milestone to actually update, or is it is it? No, it does it automatically. Okay. Based on time. The one thing I'm finding out that I have to do right now is when I get an email, is if I don't want it to appear, appear in my inbox, I got to click off the inbox and it'll stay in the folio tr folio folder. That's the only thing I'm finding that I'm that I'm having to do at this point. And that's, that's my, my anal list, I guess, a little bit, because I hate having a full inbox. So I will click <laughs> off the other, other, other stuff. It's, it's, it's a weird thing I have, I, I admit. I hate, I hate having a full inbox. My goal for this year is to be actually, be actually be at zero for my Gmail. And right now, I've got about 1,000 thousand things to go through. So. There's one realtor in Chicago. She's actually, her goal is to be zeroed every day, and she won't go to bed until she's at complete zero for the day. That would be crazy. Seriously, I'm at 19,000. If you start at zero, you, you can't finish at zero. But that's the goal. So right now, over last month was last time we did last time we did over uh, an uh, Abby Hour. Over was very popular. Um, this is very similar to Over. It's called Font Mania. It doesn't do the. It won't pull in the Prime logo or anything like that, like like Over will or your your company logo. But this does about anything the font uh, the over does. It's called Font Media, and I, I like it a lot. But I'm I still find myself using over. But if you but if you something you would, what I don't like about over is that every time they update up, update, they want you to pay a little dollar extra. And you know at some point who cares? But this one right now has not asked for another dollar out of me outside of the initial five. You having troubles there? Larry? No, no, good. I think you're good. So let's let's go to Pillar to Post right now. I mean I have used Pillar to Post a few times. Uh, the, the, the biggest compliment I've got was from a flipper who didn't like using pillar to post because he was too thorough. So keep that in mind. Which is a good thing. It's, it's, he's, he's not a Dr. Death, but he's uh, but they are very thorough. And that, that to me that was very that was he didn't like he didn't like using Tim because he was too thorough. I'm like hey, that's exactly the guy I want representing my buyer. So pillar to post. <laughs> I don't drop everything. Hey, <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? Hi. Um, I also brought cupcakes today, so I'm not just getting them. So, shark cupcakes. Uh, shark cupcakes. So, <laughs> hopefully you guys can go grab those. There's a, a whole, bu whole bunch left back there. So, anyways, as I said, I am with Florida Post Home Inspections, and my husband and Tim and I are the owners of the one based here in Crown Point. And Pillar to Post is a franchise, and they're actually the largest franchise for home inspections in North America. Um, there is another um, franchise that's based in Portage. We are separate owners, so um, I try to differentiate. We have our photo on everything, just so you guys know that if you've worked with us before, you're grabbing the right information. 
Um, all of our brochures are back there, and I actually have labels on them now that have my picture and Tim's picture and all of our additional services. So we do radon testing, termite inspections, uh, well water testing, any sort of a lab service, mold testing, air quality testing. So kind of a one-stop shop for anything that your clients would be needing. Um, we cover Lake, Porter, Laporte, Jasper, and Newton counties, which is, I'm sure, any area that you guys are servicing as well. And I know we've worked with quite a few people in the room, so maybe if you ask around, hopefully you've heard good things about us. Um, Tim, the one thing that I, I talked to Dave about too recently, we try so hard to be not alarmist. So Tim is thorough, but he doesn't want to scare off your buyers because you don't want your deals falling apart. Unfortunately, some houses do have more issues than others. But he, um, on the reports, there's a summary page at the beginning, and it doesn't say like major defects. It's not in like red flashing lights or anything. It's just it says report summary, so the realtor will know that those are kind of the bigger issues. But then the rest of the report will contain everything else that they've looked at and um, and you know, explore throughout the house. He loves having your buyers come along, so that way they're learning more about the house that they're purchasing. So um, we also have another employee, Brett, who's up and running, and uh, Brett's taking inspections now too. And we have a third employee, also named Tim, not to make it confusing, but Tim's <laughs> <laughs> also in training with us right now. Um, so feel free to call and reach out to us. I'll pass out some of these cards, and there's brochures um, back with all the other brochures over there. Um, and if you guys get emails from us, we will have coupons going out for Brett and for the new Tim also um, as they're getting up and running so you guys can try them out. Um, and I know that you guys were all at one point a new realtor and that you guys were probably looking for people to try to refer to you. And I know that there's realtors we've worked with but other ones we haven't. So we just ask that, you know, try giving us a shot. If you have a favorite inspector, if there was a time that they're busy, try using us. We'll do a great job for your clients. And you can actually look at our reviews on our website if you want to see what other uh, clients are saying about working with us. So, um, thank you very much for having us. Enjoy all your cupcakes. Do you have any questions, anyone, for now? Can I give a plug? Okay. They're also very good at buying your boats or your business with delicious uh, <laughs> desserts. <laughs> <Baked goods. laughs> homemade, homemade, straight from the kitchen. Farm, farm to table. <laughs> I would call it farm to table. Costco to table. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We'll call it local table All right, well, thank you guys. Enjoy your time here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. The next step is thank superimpose. Superimpose. It's uh, if you want to crop out that X of yours or maybe crop out the house, this is a good app to do that. You don't need a uh, Photoshop or Andrew to do it for you. You can do it pretty quickly just through superimpose. I've only used it a few times. It's pretty easy to use. Uh, but it's called superimpose, and it's just, it's actually a brand new app I started using the last probably three weeks. Five bucks. I think it was five bucks. Android, it's a dollar. It might be a dollar for iOS too, but I, I, I buy so many apps, it's actually hard to keep track. We're not all work. We have to have some fun here once in a while, so we go see a movie. So P Run. It sounds funny, but you turn it on at the beginning of the movie, and it'll vibrate in your pocket when it's a good time to go pee. <laughs> So, so, so if you think, you know, like, you see, you've had one too many beers or margaritas at the dinner before the movie, and you know you're going to go pee at some point, uh, it'll, it'll let you know, when it, now is a good time to go, get up and run to the bathroom. Hold on, if your phone keeps vibrating in your pocket, it means you, it's a very you bad, a bad movie, movie. That you <laughs> And it, it'll tell you what you missed, actually, while you're in the bathroom, so... I wish I knew this stuff. So the other one is SNL. It's, it, you know, we all love Saturday Night Live. They used to be funny except for the mid-80s. They, they weren't so funny in the mid-80s. But if you ever want to go back and see that classic bit, it's on the SNL app. Like the cowbell? Cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> The only one that's not on there is so there's a Don Riggle one. Don Riggle's one that I can never find anywhere in the world. It's it's between him and Joe Piscopo and they're slapping each other. Down by the river? No, uh, that's the, that one. Not, <laughs> down by the river. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but I got my first job in sales right out of college because I reminded them of Tommy Boy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so they're either going to flame out, they're either gonna, I was either going to flame out and they're going to have fun watching me flame out or they're going to have a lot of fun with me. And I actually, I was a rookie of the year. That's what I come out. It was for PPG Industries. So if you ever see ever watch races and see the little P, big P, little G, that's the same company. Toilet paper, right? 
No, uh, they may, but I, I sold paint. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, and I was also the quota bus for two years in a row. So I actually know what I'm doing for sales. So, um, <laughs> I want to introduce you next the uh, renovation experts. If you're looking for someone to do your two or three K houses, renovation experts. Good. Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> I'm going to give a prelim into this uh, because this girl has saved my ass quite a bit, actually. Uh, I believe in being proactive in any kind of things that we're doing. And so, you know, I have stagers for the listings. I have, um, you know, we, we put a lot of different things into these houses before we ever throw them on the market, right? So then you go and you get the house on the market, and then you fall into a house inspection situation when you get the house sold, right? So then what happens? You get the house inspection report back as a realtor, and all of a sudden you get all this crap on there, you're like, oh my God, right? So then what do you do? So Kathy has been in the business. She's also, she's been a licensed general contractor for many years. She comes from a family of builders. And uh, she's also a real estate broker too. Okay, so she gets both sides. Numerous transactions over the years. If you guys don't know her, she knows her stuff. Anyway, so I give, a, I give the one-stop shop a call. Cat, oh my God, you gotta come out here and check this out. Here's, your, here's the house inspection report. You know, what can you do? Boom, she talks to the seller, she talks to the buyer, gets all the bids together, boom, 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 because you only got a couple of days here, people, to get your prices together to either make or break this deal, right? So then, ah, comes to the rescue, right? And I gotta tell you, Sunday we had a situation. This buyer wrote, um, you know, this guy got a heck of a deal on a house, can't tell you where it's at, but anyway, so house inspection comes along, and um, the guy is adamant on, you know, having the seller fix things. Well, it's as is. You get a lot of money off the house, right? So um, the seller says, I'm not fixing it. You know, I go, you know what, let's go back out there, take a look and see, right? Give the girl a call. She comes out, right? And so we go through the house, okay, and check out this little report, you know, and he's like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. She's calming him down because she understands how it works, right? And it's the truth. I mean, she's not telling him anything crazy. It's not major crap, right? So then in walks uncle or whatever. Tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. Okay, so in walks the stepfather, and um, we had already went through with the buyer, and there was some, around the windows, there was drywall that wasn't trimmed, so somebody left the windows open, long story short, between the time that the stepfather saw it and the time that they did the inspection, so there was water evidence, and then they used um, metal corner beads, so it was, you know, rusted a little bit, so... The father and the stepfather both wanted all the windows replaced in the house, all the doors. He walks in and he's telling Nancy, you know, we're we're backing out of this deal. I have an attorney on retainer, blah, blah, blah. Nancy's like ready to bust him down. And I <laughs> took him into the other room because, you know, it was getting heated in there. And he was throwing the wrong verbiage out and stuff. So we went into the other room. And they don't expect me to know what I know about construction. So we started talking about the windows. And he said, you know what, yeah, I can see that happening. And then there was a small crack from the basement window, which that happens in foundations, you know. Um, I explained to him what we would do. We would butt the joint out and fill it in with epoxy, with an injection, and crack it. And he, he looked at me, and he didn't believe that I knew what I was talking about. So he went from telling the guy, his stepson, to get out of the deal to, we're okay, let's move forward. And I was straight with them, and I told them it was about $2,000, you know, total, your, you got this house for a steal. So he walked in, you know, apologized to Nancy, and she sent the inspection report over that night. He signed off on it, so they're going to close. So, you know, um, but my thing is, is I, I get uh, a lot of referrals. I do a lot with the general public. But the nice thing about the realtors is you guys can call me, and I can go meet your buyers there. Um, the last one we did in Lowell was a $17,000 job. Um, it ended up being a little bit more expensive than we thought because they detected mold in the roof. Well, mold is so, you guys know how that is. It could be any color, it could be any, you know, there's thousand different species of it. So it was on the decking boards, it was not on the rafters. So we did have to take the roof off, replace all of the boards. Um, it was a big deal. We had to come, do a couple other things, but the nice thing was she didn't have to call the plumber, she didn't have to call an electrician. I handled all of it. She closed on the deal. Her seller uh, bought a house in Michigan, sent her a beautiful letter, a bunch of referrals. So I was able to help her with that. But a couple other things that you guys should know. Um, it's a $100 fee just to go out to the house. If it's a prime deal, there's no fee. Okay? Sometimes they just want me to come out. <laughs> yeah. Well, the hundred dollar fee. Hopefully, you guys will turn me out to business. But um, you know, some people just want peace of mind. So they might say, "I'm going to fix this myself," like this guy on Sunday, which you know, I would shoot him straight two thousand dollar 
job. So, so he can take care of it himself. $7,000 commission, I'm going to give her 100 bucks. Yeah. So then the second yeah. thing is, you know, they do definitely want peace of mind, and some of them will hire me down the line, okay? And maybe if it's a buyer that you're bringing, you know that they can't go take out a loan right away to fix a house or something. But just a couple things that you guys should know, I am an FHA-approved contractor, so I can do 203Ks. I have financing. I have a dealership with a bank out of the East Coast called Admirals Bank. I've been with them for six years. Um, you got to go through a lot of scrutiny to be with somebody like that. Um, I can get the... Uh, homeowner of $25,000 up to $50,000 and they're very affordable. The $25,000 loan costs them $230 a month. The $50,000 loan costs them $419 a month. It's tax deductible, the interest, because it's for their home. They can record it against the property so their property taxes will drop. So it's got a lot of good benefits. There is, this is the best benefit, there is no appraisal. So this program that I'm working with says we don't care if you have a dollar equity or if you own your home or no equity. They'll go ahead and loan the money. They have to have a minimum credit score of 600. Um, I obviously, the higher the credit score, the better interest rate. It's from 3.9 to 9.9. My average deal when I go into a house, um, if somebody's going to take out a loan like this, you know, they're taking 25000 because you want to fix your roof, your siding, your windows, get it all done at one shot you can write a lot of that off on your taxes. I have um, a question. Is yes. that for the buyer or the seller? Whoever. So, anyway. yeah. Yeah. so let's say you're a seller, you want to sell your house, they'll give you that loan up front, then you yeah. list it. Yeah, and then you just pay it off at closing. Um, I also have, I'm tied in with uh, First Midwest Bank and they do unsecured loans, and that's an 84 month term, which is seven years, but that's 380 bucks a month for 25 grand, and it's a very small uh, amount of interest that you're paying on it and you can get a lot of things done at one time. We do roofing, siding, windows, heating and air, um, kitchens, bathroom remodels, waterproofing. Um, all of the stuff that I use on the exterior of the home, including the waterproofing, comes with a lifetime warranty. So nothing off you guys. Uh, anything else is a three-year warranty, so if I were to do work for one of your buyers or sellers and something happens, they're not going to be calling you. They'll call us, and we'll take care of it. Um, usually those loans, those FHA loans, take eight days to close. And they're very, uh, the paperwork is not like you're going through a mortgage. They just need um, a current pay stub, proof that you own the home, um, insurance. And if you're on Social Security or disability, they want that. But it's about eight days, and the money goes directly to them, into their account. It's wired into their account, and then they pay us. So, um, let's see here. I think that's it. Well, I, need, I need you right away. I've got a buyer and a seller. Right. I need you right away. One in Valpo and one in Gary. Okay. Yeah, and I'm licensed right in Lincoln Porter County. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys need anything, just and Nancy, I mean, I've helped her with three deals so far. And I am. I, I, but I have a real estate license and also a broker, but I know I don't want to, you know, like that deal right there, the stepfather walked in and he was like trying to, you know, push his, right, I said, she was trying to push, she was trying to push his feet around with her. It's on video. You're live on Facebook right now. I saved her though, Josh. I pulled her out of it. But, you know, it's nice to go in and be able to calm somebody down that, you know, he thought he knew everything and it's, here comes this girl that you know, he had no idea that I know what I know. So, I'm not saying I know everything, but no one really thinks that I'm like, you know, going to get up on their roof. So, anyway, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to pass out some uh, flyers for you. If you want to give it to your customers, it's for $500 off. So, if they need a, you know, you got a, a listing coming up and you know that the sliding glass door isn't going to open, call us. We'll go out there and fix it. Um, sometimes we'll do paid out of closing. So we'll hold that escrow depending on the situation and the amount of the job. Okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Wow. One of my biggest pet peeves is going to any house is un un uneven floors. I can feel them a mile away. And so a handy level for Android, or you can do it for iOS as well. And our compass, if you swipe, when you open the compass, it's a 208 number, I have not no clue who that is. They're probably going to sell me some bullshit. Wait, you're live on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you watch Wine with Woodson, eh, you know I drop four little words all the time on that. <laughs> but this, this, this is one of the Northwest Standard Rollers as well. So handy level, if you step to the right, it does give you a level as well. Uh, I actually had a client that it, it mattered which way north was to them. I know that. 
Mm-hmm. Boys made a kitchen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of agent. Or Plenty of people yeah. are uh, feng shui, feng shui, yeah. feng shui yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you got to know which way. So I constantly, every house I went into, I had to, I had to show them which way north was. Mm-hmm. Because I don't like it, and we leave. <laughs> so. Another one I like using is the uh, is places to dump my photos at this point. Uh, iCloud, uh, I forget the uh, OneDrive, OneDrive through Microsoft, iCloud, and Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you get, you get access to Amazon Photo. I think it's something like almost like a terabyte of photos you can download. Uh-huh. And you can set it up on your phone. The moment you get home and it gets on Wi Fi, you'll start downloading your photos. Just to go to your to save your photos. You don't have to worry about ever backing your phone up. If you lose your phone, who cares? It's all backed up to Amazon Drive. For Amazon Prime, it's free. I believe it is free for Amazon Drive, Amazon, because I'm not paying extra for it at this point. Yes. Yeah. I pay like five bucks a month. Uh, we pay for Prime, iPhone. but not. Yeah. yeah. Not the source. Or I have I, I I use I I have multiple backups. So my iCloud, uh, Dropbox, and this. If you, if you never know what gets missed, and it's not taking any chances. So I'm Tracy I'm from Guaranteed Rate. And Matt. And Matt, sorry. Uh-oh. All right. And then I have one more app to share when we're done. And then we drink. Yeah, yeah. Then we drink. Then we drink. Yeah, we're actually <laughs> not on Facebook. Our, our man is going to be passing out our flyers for us. So we just showed that online level, and we have one on here that kind of goes along the th- same thing. It's a magic measure. It's a digital uh, tape measure. So if you need to measure square footage or whatever, it's pretty oh, yeah. easy to do. So that one's on there. Um, our app, we showed you guys that one last time, but our app shows you guys how to uh, calculate mortgage payments and stuff like that. Um, like if you're showing a listing to a house, you can run the numbers for somebody right while they're inside the house. Uh, we're actually going to be showing you guys, probably not on this Friday's newsletter, but uh, maybe on next Friday's, how to incorporate that information into your guys' websites. Uh, where you don't have to have an app on your phone or whatever. If you're talking to somebody on the phone and they want to know about payments or anything like that, you're just going to be able to direct the traffic right to your website and kind of make yourselves like a one-stop shop. Um, there are widgets off the website. You can just put it right on your site. I did want to tell you guys this one is not necessarily real estate related, but I think it's great. And that is unroll.me. I guess if you just go in there and put in your email address, it brings up every like spam account email that you get, and you can just go through and check them all off and dump all your spam, which I just found out about, and I will probably be doing that one tomorrow morning. Um, I love unrolled. Hold on. One problem with unrolled.me is okay. you're going to unroll yourself from all of our email correspondence to you as well. So You can select. Yeah, you have to select it. Yeah, you can select. So just don't remove <laughs> don't yourself remove from any correspondence from, from Christina or, or Prime Real Estate or Janelle. Otherwise, you won't get checks anymore. Yeah. That's a big thing. There you go. Don't select it. Yeah. And then there's a couple more, like Sly Dial. I think we covered that before. If you just want to leave somebody a voicemail, you can go straight to their voicemail. There's another Expensify, which covers all of your different expense accounts. Like you can uh, just kind of track everything with your expense accounts. Sly Dial is really great if you've got an upset, irate client yes. and you just want to send them an email or a voicemail, but you don't want to talk to them. Yes. 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 Not that I would ever avoid a conversation with anyone and not that you should ever not call instead of pick up a phone, but if you just want to leave a message, it's very, very handy. And then uh, one more quick thing. I touched on this last time we were in the other meeting, but I was talking to William tonight before he left. He had to go to a funeral. Yeah, we're representing William tonight. Too. And he said uh, he's got like 61 closings in the next seven days. And he agrees with me to tell you guys, like, save your clients trouble. You guys are going to get paid like two weeks later, right? So you're going to get paid on the 15th instead of the 30th, but set them up for the beginning of the month. You guys just get used to your big payday the on the 15th. The 7th through the 20th is like the best time to set your customers yeah. up so that so they're the, not upset. The 7th through the 20th. Correct. Because then you're not... <laughs> or you schedule in advance. Right. Schedule in advance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Schedule but advance, you, but, you know, but, advance, you but like, with the what they're, they're saying is like 60% okay. of loans close in the last three yeah. business yeah. days of the month. Yeah. 60% yeah. of the volume for the month. Yeah. Yeah. And, so save some know. heartbreak for your So William said, yeah, I heard you say that at the last meeting in Merrillville, which by the way, that place is getting torn down, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Man, are we gonna have a blowout there before, like, right to watch the ball? We're, we're gonna we're gonna beat up some copy machines in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Party. 
Oh, that's it. You guys but have any questions? Guys, all yeah, these apps came off of our gateless site. We, we, you know, signed everybody up for gateless. You can go on gateless, and there are thousands of different things, resources for you. There are tons of different apps, tons of different um, blogs and videos to help each of you realtors do more business. Yeah. So check it out. It's phenomenal, and it's free. And guys? then if something that you learned from gateless or some widget that you got from us or whatever, then give us a shot. Because I know everybody's got their mortgage guy or everybody's got their mortgage girl, but we're trying to help you guys get better and make yourselves better and grow your business. And so if that happens, you know, reciprocate. Reciprocate. Yeah. We're here to help you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And last but not least, if you are a realtor, and everybody in the room probably is, you get access to RPR. This is RPR Mobile. You can do comps on the run. All you need is your NR, is it your NRDS, NRDS number. If you don't know how to get that, you don't need to, you don't need to be a realtor. It's easy to get. <laughs> Google NRDS, type in your name, you'll figure it out. Yep. Yeah. That's all you need to get it. It's a free, it's completely free from NAR. You would, it's, it's a benefit from uh, being, a, being a part of NAR. RPR, it's a great way to give comps on the run. Do it from your iPad, your iPhone, you can do it on your, you would say even in the, uh, Denier.com. It's right there. It's easy to do that as well. So, uh, And then let's go back to slide out real quick. Hold on. If anybody is spending two hours putting together a comp analysis, you should be working at another company. <laughs> <laughs> Takes two minutes on RPR. You go through, you figure out a few things, and you take out some comps, and you throw in a couple more, and you got eight minutes into it, and you have a beautiful report for your seller as a leave behind, and they're going to call you because of the wealth of knowledge that you left with them, plus all the additional products and services that you supply. Yeah. I can show you one more if you want me to show you one more. Do, who's Sorry, the, you, we were going to talk about Slide Owl. Uh, slide Owl. It's just, I want to learn later on. If you don't want to talk to that one agent that always bugs the hell out of you, Slide Owl is a great way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> slide Owl. Slide Owl. Slide Owl. I, 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 was, I was the kind of jerk that would say, I'm not why I keep sure I keep getting your voicemail, but I made it so it was completely her fault. So, slide out. Slide out. And, I, and I'm making it it was her phone's fault that I might call her. She was, Probably a Michigan City agent. No, it was, it was a... Uh, it was a Mick agent. McDonald's agent? Yeah. All right, keep going. Uh, when, when, when you guys print off your hello sign, you guys get the sheets at the end of it that gives all the email addresses. What do you guys do? Are you guys printing those off and scanning them in? For what? Uh, again? When you get a hello sign, the third or fourth page or the last page is always everybody else's email addresses. What are you guys doing with those? Are you printing them off and then scanning them back in? I don't know what you mean. Well, the best way to do that is actually you actually print as a PDF. Yeah. And only they print the pages the you want to save. Oh, yeah, you so keep that in mind. If you're using a Mac, there's a, there's a Mac. Uh... This one, I can't. I don't know. Hello, the name does not provide control. PDF numbers. suite. If you're using so a Mac, PDF suite will do the same thing. Penny um, it looks wet. Yeah, you, you pre print as a PDF. Yeah. yeah, you just save it as PDF and it already. But you, but you got to save it. No, you just print as PDF. Print as PDF, yeah. Print as PDF. And then you save it Then you save it as what you need. Yeah, you go to the dialogue box, select, print as PDF. Any questions before we call tonight, guys? Did Josh want to say anything for me? Guys, we, did, um, we did a power hour last year on Thursdays. We would encourage people to come in and dial and you know talk, um, call up their customers for an hour. And we're going to start a power hour again uh, yes. in Cherville and Hobart. So we're awesome. going to be extending this out. So this beer. on Thursdays, you know what? If people come in, beers. Power hour is really great. By the way, we provide you with the leads to call on Power Hour. So we, we have access to uh, FISBOs and expireds, and we give you the phone numbers to be calling on these people. And then we teach you the scripts on how to call. And then there, there's a whole instructional coach who walks around, Tracy helps, and we walk you through how to call these people uh, with the proper scripts, and then critique on those phone calls so you become better agents. And we're starting so. on Thursdays from 4 to 5 because that is showing that.
shown that it's the best time to phone solicit to people or phone prospect to people because they're done with their busy week, but they haven't started their weekend yet, so they're very responsive. So it's a great time, great time to get started and get learning it and just get on it. Awesome. So thank you so much. Tracy's always done a really great job helping to facilitate that, so we appreciate your, your, your support. So I uh, just want to say thank you so much to all the sponsors. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to both Matthew and Dave. Uh, I had nothing to do with this event at all. Uh, except for drink some beer, and uh, so I, 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 I appreciate uh, their their you know influence and support and direction in, in helping you guys become better brokers. Help! Uh, thank you to all the the sponsors to provide everything that we've had, and uh, the night's not over. So continue to uh, enjoy uh, plenty of food from Bub's Barbecue out there. And then uh, Summertime Prime is still on tap uh, until that thing is floating. So feel free to continue to drink our good beers. And uh, there's plenty of wine that's been supplied by uh, Guaranteed Rate. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, y'all. 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 Days before the closing. I'm recording your information. Yeah. So better, better now than. Uh...